Well, hello and welcome back to Challington Farm. I didn't do an episode yesterday, that's because I was doing multiplayer. But we're back today, and we have got a little few bits of finishing up to do, really. There is the bit of that field which hasn't been cultivated, and it also hasn't been drilled fully. So I'm going to have to do that manually, because the, the worker can't really work out where it's been and where it hasn't been. So I think I will just do that myself, it's probably easier and quicker. So we'll do that when I've just taken this combine back. We also need to go and empty that trailer load from a couple of days ago. Oh, it's a bumpy track down here. I really need to find a better place to put this combine actually, because there isn't really anywhere I've, I've decided to put it and it's always in the way a bit. So I don't know if I should bring it through here and put it somewhere. Um, I mean it could go through here. I guess that's not a bad place for it there. It's a bit bumpy, but it's out of the way, so um Yep, I think I put it there. And now we're gonna get the tractor and trailer. Which is on higher. We're playing in real time, so it should be quite a long time until that expires, until we lose the tractor. And like I said before, I'm not going to sell anything yet because I want to save up until we've got lots to sell, and then we can do it when there is great demand for it, instead of just selling it as we get it. Because despite us playing on normal, I'm actually not doing that well. I'm not doing well at all, I haven't really got much money. So I need to be careful with what I spend. Good, so that is a bit in storage at least. And I think we might as well leave that trailer in there. Don't even need to leave it on the tractor. The tractor we can probably find another use for. I'm not sure what it can do. Probably some fertilizing or something at some point. Although, we do have the sprayer, which I do want to use. We're going to be doing that very soon. But first, let's jump into the Massey Ferguson. Because we need to do some more drilling. I'm hoping if I just put it straight onto a worker, it'll get going and it'll find out where it was before. Fingers crossed. Now for the class tractor. We'll finish this off ourselves. It's going to need a bit of a pressure wash after all of this. Yeah, that tractor's fine. And I'm pleased about this getting rid of it all because it's really messy and I don't want it to be like that again. With the silaging, when we, when we do the maize harvest, uh, it won't leave a mess at all because obviously that's all thrown into a trailer. There won't be any chaff left behind, no straw. So as this field is so bumpy in areas, it is a very suitable field to do maize in. And that drill over there, it says um, in the store that, well it doesn't actually mention that you have to cultivate first, uh, but you do, well you kind of do. If you don't cultivate and you go over it with the drill, I've noticed that it will still plant the seeds. Uh, however, it will not remove the stubble. So I guess if you want to do like a direct drill, um, like mintail kind of thing, it would work but I don't know how it works because it, it says that you have to do cultivating first so I'm not going to try it and that is why I am cultivating 
but it seems to work even if you don't cultivate first. So, don't know really, don't know what's going on with that. But obviously the cultivating will be done first, and once I've finished in this tractor, I will let the Massey Ferguson continue, but I'm assuming the same problem is going to occur with that one, where it doesn't have a big enough turning circle, um, and then I'll have to finish that off myself as well. But I do want to do some spraying, and I don't know if that'll be today or next week, I'll just have to see how it goes. I'm hoping it will be today. Really. I think what I might have to do is just go round the headland of the field with the uh, seed drill just so it knows where it is and doesn't go crashing into all the buildings. I feel it's starting to pull now. It's getting harder for it to pull up this gradient here. I guess it isn't a massive tractor. It is a pretty big one. But we could probably do with something a little bit bigger on this. Anyway, we're almost done here. I think the other tractor has just crashed actually, so I'm going to have to sort that out. It turns out we just need a bit of seed. I'm going to have to go and fill it up. And that pressure washer is definitely going to be in use very soon. Okay, back to the field. I'm really hoping to get that field finished very soon. I want to get the sprayer out. Back in the class tractor, we're almost done. So once this is finished, I will just put that headland board around the field, just so the drill doesn't get stuck. And we'll let the uh, drill continue on the worker. Meanwhile, we will get the sprayer out. And uh, with that self-propelled sprayer, I'd imagine it's got a fairly good working width. So we should get this field done in no time. I love using this cultivator though. It makes a difference from using that smaller cultivator. It gets the job done much quicker. But there we go. That is the cultivating side of things done for now. We're going to have to do the other field as well. Uh, but we'll take this back to the yard. We'll put it in the shed. We'll bring them back the sprayer. We'll fill the sprayer up. And uh, then we will sort out that drill. I believe we have quite a bit of space up here. So we'll just park the entire lot in here. But yeah, we're going to have to wash this tractor at some stage. We'll turn it off there. Now for the sprayer. Are you looking forward to using this? Again, we'll fill it up to the top. If we can afford it. We might not be able to. 
Well, it hasn't left us with much. I'm definitely going to have to make some money somehow. The silage, I'm hoping. But back to the field with the sprayer. Very good visibility in the sprayer. I just saw a bale. I knew I'd miss something. I always do. Still, we'll put that there. And we'll get back into this tractor. And we'll sort things out. Going up and down here a few times just sort everything out. So all, it, all this is for is just so that it turns earlier and doesn't continue into the buildings and the trees and everything. It just saves an awful lot of hassle in the long run. Well, I think that is pretty much it. It's given a nice sharp edge to the field. So it should now recognise that that's where it should turn around, not right up here and crash into that brick building there. Because that's what it was going to do before. So it should just be a case of putting it on autopilot, or worker, and let it continue. We'll get into the sprayer, which is here. I think we'll begin work. I'm not too sure on uh, working with the train again. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably quite good. With it being such a big machine. looking quite promising. He's going to make short work of doing this field. Hey, now you can adjust the wheels. Look at that. That is nice. So I don't know what would normally be set. So I'll put it just like standard width there. The height, I mean we don't want to be too high, we don't want to be too low. So probably about there. And let's get going. This would be tricky from in the cab. That is one enormous working with. Can you imagine changing all the nozzles on these? But yeah. Impressive. Very impressive. Why is the tractor stopped? Sorted. I hope it doesn't keep stopping. Come a little bit further into the field. It's not amazingly fast, 
but because it's so wide, it's still going to make the job really quick. Good to see the tractor still continuing without stopping. That would be annoying if I had to keep restarting it every time. But the drilling side of things is almost done. Obviously the cultivation is done. Just this left to do. And then our silage field can be left to grow the maize field. I keep, keep calling it silage. It's because it, that's what I'm going to do to it. But maize is what it is, or corn. It's a bit of a bad habit I've got into. I've gone around the field once, now it's just like a, a place to turn, I'm turning circle space. That way I can just go up the field, turn the spray off, and then turn around, come back down the field. It's not the straight, straightest work, but it's because the field isn't that straight either. Now I could go straight up there, and then sort of cut the corner off and then finish that bit up later. That way it would be always straight going across the field. So, um, I think we will do that make it easier in the long run. It's not too far off anyway really. Sorted. So when we fill up again, which we're going to have to, we're going to be put into negative figures. It's a good job we're not playing on Iron Horse because that would be the end of the game. That is my rule I've set. If I ever get to negative figures, game over. This one though it will not happen so um, we're going to continue anyway but we're just going to be in debt which isn't very good. I'm not going to quite get to the end. Come on I need to get to the end. Ah, oh, That always happens. Well I'm going to go and fill it up. Um, I don't really know how much to put in it though don't want to waste any money. I think probably about 75%. I think it'd be a bit of a waste of money if I filled it. And the drill has stopped again. Seventy-five percent. There we go into debt. Brilliant. At least I bought this sprayer. It's definitely better than those trailed ones or the mounted ones. For this size field that is, not for a really small field. It'd be crazy using this in a tiny field. Although we'll get it done in just a few seconds. Not the best off-roader ever. Fold. 
Well, we're on the home straight, we're almost there. We've just got to go up here and I think probably down once more. And then it's all done. The drilling has been completed eventually. I had to finish it off myself. It just refused to continue. So I thought it'd be quicker and easier if I just did it. And also it's cheaper because you have to use the worker. It just takes a bit longer. Well, I hope this is going to be a very profitable crop. It certainly should be, with silage being so expensive. And I'm glad I didn't fill the tank fully. It wasn't too far off, uh, I guess 60% would have been ideal. But you can't really guess what it's going to have, what it's going to take. But, that's it. We'll fold it up and we will take these two machines back to the yard. I think, actually thinking about it, this tractor may as well go in here. And the sprayer, obviously you can go back to where it came from. Which was just in here. And that is it from me today. And that is it from Chenison this week. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. We have finished the field finally. And I'm pleased we have because it's a big field. And uh, that is obviously going to be able to grow now. And be able to leave it to do everything it needs to do until it's ready. Um, and then meanwhile we'll be able to do something else. In, like harvesting or maybe a bit more mowing. I don't know. Ba baling possibly. We do actually have to bale field one. So uh, yeah. Plenty of stuff to do next week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.